So there's just kind of a quick update and a walkthrough of um, my current uh, 3D printer setup. So my main printer right here is um, the Ratrig VCore 3. It's actually not exactly one of their kit um, offerings because I kind of custom sourced it and made it to a 400 width by 300 deep uh, build plate. Uh, I have previously had a hypercube build that was with this size and I used most of the same extrusions and just sort of kind of filled in where I need to to make it a rat rig. So I've got a rectangular build plate instead of square. As you can see right here I have my own custom uh, flex plate on there with a build surface that I like just mostly because of the texture. Um, currently the extruder uh, the same EVA system with the uh, sailfin extruder that I have in one of my other videos. And uh, most of the build is is pretty much rat rig. I did change a few little things just uh, more for preference like these back uh, mounts here for the pulleys. I have an open system just because I kind of like seeing the pulleys uh, before when I had it closed like the rat rig, rig setup. Um, I noticed, well I didn't notice that one of my pulleys had like a wobble. Um, and I didn't realize that until I've had the printer for months. So um, I kind of just redesigned these parts just so it's easier to see what's going on here. And also for maintenance, it's easier to get in there and maybe change out a motor and stuff like that without completely disassembling this whole corner piece over here. I'm also running one of the Big, Big Tree Tech 5-inch um, touchscreens. And this one has been flashed to the... Um, the clipper screen no touch firmware that is by T minus on GitHub. And it's just basically uh, for just a cleaner display uh, when it's running clipper. Um, you do have control here, like a typical menu stuff, uh, like you would get on like a Marlin type screen. Don't need to use it. I kind of just like having it here just in case I need to make some changes while I'm printing and I don't want to go back to my computer. But also, the display is nice and big, so when I am sitting back at my computer or across the room, I can kind of look over and see what's going on. Uh, as far as the Z-axis, I've got this modified a little bit. Um, I'm using uh, Lee Inventor's uh, Ventramex, and just basically to help with some minor wobble that I was having with the lead screws. Uh, very minor, but you can see that these are kind of free to kind of jiggle around here. Uh, my setup is a little bit modified where I took the the basic star gear and I modified this uh, to have a insert so I can, or in a hole so I can insert a POM lead screw nut just because I wanted a little bit more accuracy than maybe what I could get printing or wear from the print, printed parts. I'm using these uh, POM lead screw nuts basically inserted into the, the Venermex star gear and this is working actually really well. Um, I had very very minor uh, Z banding and it was mostly from the rear lead screw which I found out after I was doing all this it was because um, I had a, a misalignment with this lead screw it was actually leaning over a little bit uh, to the left and um, after I fixed that actually it got even without the vendor mix it was a lot better so um, make sure you check your alignment on your lead, lead screws make sure they're perfectly vertical before you even do any mods because that's gonna help out your prints and then of course I have um, my electronics panels a little different. I flip the electronics so they're on the back panel facing forward so that I don't have to move my printer when I do any kind of uh, maintenance. I just basically take the panels off from here. Drop them here. These come off. And then I can pull this out. I can get in there and do any maintenance. Just a lot easier for me. Um, you know, this printer is not enclosed. So I don't print ABS or anything like that. So it's not super important for me to, to have everything sealed up. Uh, so this works great for me so I can get in here and do any kind of maintenance I need to or change out any parts if I need to without messing around and carrying the printer, moving the printer, unplugging anything. It's right here. Um, right now I have just some, these are just, that's a foam panel on this side and just some cardboard on this side. This is just for draft just to make sure there's no cross flow of air when I'm printing. I am going to be ordering some uh, panels for the sides, just again for draft, but not for an enclosure. Uh, it's just, uh, this machine is mostly for me, it's going to be PETG and PLA. I don't really print ABS or ASA or anything like that. The other printer I have, 
which is over here. This is, I had, uh, before I built the rat rig, this is a kind of an i3 printer that's based on a Prusa, or Prusa design, I should say. There's actually no parts that are shared with the Prusa at all. This is all completely custom built. Um, I am using something a little different. I'm using 10 millimeter rods on the horizontal instead of eight, and 12 meter, millimeter rods on the verticals, which I pulled these off my Hypercube. So that's why I'm using the 12s. Um, and then I, I kind of redesigned the Z axis. I basically flipped, flipped the, uh, the Z so that I can have, I have one Z motor up here that's running a belt that ties the two lead screws together. And then, um, so the gantry goes up and down that way. And what's great about this is that you'll never get any misalignment, um, with your, your X axis because it's tied together with the belt up here. And once I've, I got this leveled and this is running Marlin, I, I just use the bed mesh, uh, you know, leveling. I never have to level this bed again. It's pretty much doesn't move. I mean, these are the yellow springs, so it doesn't move. And this gantry never gets out of alignment. I just, this is a machine where I can just print and not worry about anything. It just goes. And I'm a little slow, but it does the job. But I want to print ABS. Uh, so I need to enclose this thing or rebuild something that was better for ABS. So right now I've kind of got an idea of what I want to do. And that's kind of a printer that I've been sort of kind of designing. It's actually, I, I took two designs and kind of put them together. This is basically a Voron Zero that's made out of uh, 2020 extrusions instead of the 15 by 15. And I took that design from a printer called the Tiny M, where somebody did all the hard work. They, they already converted this uh, V0 to a 2020 extrusion setup uh, like this. And then someone else here, this guy, he has made the Snake Oil XY. He's actually using, I think, 3030 extrusions, but he's got an enclosed printer with a belt. Um, belt operated uh, z-axis. So I sort of took the z-axis from this printer and then the motion system from this printer and kind of put them all together here in this printer. Um, I was going to call it the X0 or it's kind of dumb but whatever. Uh, and it's using the you know the Voron tool head but uh, motion system is Voron 0 but just scaled up to 2020 fully enclosed and with the the uh, bed or a belt operated uh, Z. And I'm doing a little thing different here on the bottom. Instead of using a complex gearbox, I'm just using these motors that are, you know, they already come with a uh, reduction gear uh, built into the motor. So it's like a five to one reduction uh, on the motors. And, you know, there's no, no gearbox is gonna be need to be built. Um, would definitely have to test to see if they strong enough to uh, to keep the bed up. I think it is. This is only a 220 by 220 millimeter bed. But I um, haven't started actually building this yet. Uh, but I do have a whole box of parts. I got some extrusions and some parts I already printed. And here's kind of like a test. I tested the mounting on, on the uh, motors for the Z. And even up here, I kind of got my little setup here where I, I kind of like to test things out. I do these like little mock-ups just to make sure things are going to work. So I got these MGN9 linear rails and some parts, you know, ready to go, but haven't started yet. These are just the parts. I don't have the whole motion assembly. Um, still kind of deciding now. I've seen the Carbon X1 uh, by Bamboo Labs, and do I just stop what I'm doing with this and kind of just bite the bullet and get something like that? Or do I complete this project that I've been working on and for a few months and, and see how this turns out? Kind of try to decide what I want to do. But uh, in a nutshell, that's what I've got right now. I've got two printers uh, looking to get a third that will eventually just replace this one that I have back here. Uh, so this will go away and uh, I'll have a, a different printer here that would be enclosed. That's kind of my idea right now and uh, not 100% sure what I'm going to do, uh, but that uh, Bamboo Labs printer does look pretty sweet. Uh, so if you guys got any ideas, ideas or you're thinking of the same thing, let me know what you would do in this situation. Thanks a lot. See you later.